Hello everybody, welcome to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at a toothbrush from a company called Oral Cheese with lots of ease. Questionable name maybe, but this is a company that is all about oral hygiene. This is their sort of full pack offering with the brush travel case and several brush heads in it. Uh, and we're going to take a closer look and see what's what. Now I do know that packaging is something that eventually you'll throw away, uh, but I want to make special mention to how well this is packaged. It's nicely presented, everything is in place, it's tight, uh, and I think this really contributes to the product experience. Uh, again, uh, product is something that you use, of course, and the packaging goes away, but this is something I find personally important, especially when you're spending uh, quite significant money on a product that you are having a good experience from the word go. Now here is the travel case coming uh, in the box, obviously, with a charging cable as well, and it is USB-C, which is great, USB-C, all the things. So no separate uh, proprietary dongles necessary to charge this toothbrush. Now they claim a 300 day battery life, which is something I have not tested for this video, uh, but uh, I've used it for about two weeks and I haven't charged the battery at all. So that is a good sign, at least uh, to begin with. Now you can see here uh, next to the travel case, you have the big unit itself. That is the actual toothbrush, of course, and you get four heads in the box here. And now they are uh, your normal everyday heads, but also sort of the deep cleaning and the sensitive cleaning heads. Uh, so it's quite nice that you have uh, everything in one package everything you'll really need. Now a downside slightly is that you have to order these from Oral Cheese, uh, but on the other hand, if you plan to handle it, then that is not much of an issue. You can see they have a little a rough patch on the back, hopefully that comes across on video, uh, and they are nicely contained in these separate containers. Uh, you could again uh, argue that this is uh, wasteful and you don't really need it, but especially when you are somebody who travels a lot, uh, it goes really well together with the travel case and the unit itself. I have the pink version here, of course, as you can see, there's also a white and a black variety, if that is more your taste. Uh, but I think this uh, pink one is actually quite nice. Uh, looks good, and as you can see, you can fit everything nicely in the travel case and make it a nice snug package. The charging cable you probably won't really need if you charge this every once in a while. Uh, you should be good to go for traveling, but you can uh, probably put two heads in here and then all is well for your travels. Nice and slim and compact package. The charging cable obviously has to go somewhere. There is a double layer rubber, rubber flap here in the back, and that is where you will find the charging port. So it's not like uh, sort of traditional electric toothbrushes that have a separate sort of mounting bracket uh, that you have to put them on to charge. It's just USB-C plug, uh, but thanks to the double rubber flap here, uh, you'll be safe to use this obviously in a wet environment when you're brushing your teeth. Now for a little uh, size comparison, it's maybe hard to judge how big this is. This is my standard sort of Oral-B rotary toothbrush. You can see that they're very similarly sized, uh, quite the same in thickness and everything as well. Uh, so it is nothing unusual and nothing sort of that will uh, protrude out of your sink all too much. Uh, for comparison, also here a regular hand toothbrush and a normal uh, toothpaste. This is my kid's tooth toothpaste actually, uh, as you can see by the Pokemon. Uh, so overall, the packaging is very much what you're familiar with and nothing crazy going on. And even the brush heads are very similar. You can see that the pink one is slightly longer uh, than the standard Oral-B one, uh, but not by much. So obviously, we're going to end this video in the bathroom with some real world testing. It's one thing to show you uh, the toothbrush up close, but it is another thing showing it in my own bathroom here. Uh, excuse the echo, that's what bathrooms are all about. Um, I got the two toothbrushes here once again. This is the normal Oral-B rotary toothbrush that I use on a daily basis. And this is the uh, Ultra Clean Cheese one. Uh, so I want to show you a few things. First of all, we're going to do um, uh, the graphics. There's a bunch of uh, lights here on the front that you will see when I turn it on. So I'll turn the lights off. Still a little bit of light coming in, but you can still see it. So turning it on. You get a nice little animation and then if you watch here when I turn it up it actually shows on which speed or which setting you are and then we are off turning the light back on so you already heard it here um, a little bit that's the sound it makes so let's compare uh, these two sound wise I mean obviously if you use a normal toothbrush uh, there is no sound involved uh, but for example, if you have small children or if your bathroom is close to your children's bedroom or if you generally don't like noise, uh, sound might be uh, you know, a deciding factor. So, that's the sound one of these makes. 
And here is this one. Significantly quieter, a lot quieter. Even if you go for the higher setting, much quieter. Here's this one again. So if you're going sound-wise, obviously this is the clear winner. Now, I don't know exactly how many rotations a minute this one makes, but clearly with 37,000, this is uh, pulsating or vibrating much, much faster. Um, then it comes down to what kind of brusher you are. Because obviously with a normal toothbrush, uh, you make you know, brushing motions, um, but that's not the case with the rotary one. Now you really go from tooth to tooth to tooth, uh, and because the brush are rotating, obviously you don't have to you know, do the brushing yourself. Uh, and to be fair, the, the round head also doesn't lend itself for any kind of sort of brushing motion. Now with this one, it's a little bit in between. Uh, on the one hand, uh, 37,000 vibrations a minute. Obviously, any kind of brushing you're gonna do is not gonna add anything to that equation. Uh, but as you can see by the shape, it is very much uh, shaped the same way as a regular toothbrush. So it does invite for a more uh, brushing motion. Personally, I don't go for the full brush like I would with a normal toothbrush, um, but I also wouldn't go for the full standstill as I would with the rotary brush. Uh, so I land somewhere in between. I, I move it around a little bit, and every time uh, the 30-second the timer uh, zaps, I change the zone. So you got you know top right and so on. Uh, so that's how I do it, and I still make you know a little bit of a brushing motion because it just feels more natural um, with this shape. On the back you also have uh, a little uh, rough patch for the tongue, so that's nice. Um, I leave the vibrating on because, uh, you know, just a little bit extra. It feels nice on the tongue, actually, kind of funny. Um, so overall, it is a bit more of a motion-based activity than the rotor rotary brush, uh, but not as much as the normal toothbrush. Now, size-wise, I already showed you, they're pretty uh, comparable, uh, so they're not gonna, you know, make any difference uh, sort of in your sink area. Obviously, we've got to cover any kind of downsides. Um, well, first of all, there is the brushes that you can obviously, they're proprietary, so you can only buy them uh, with this brush and then from the website. Not a real issue, it's just a matter of, you know, ordering them ahead of time, because uh, it's not something like, oh, I ran out and I got to pop to the shop to get a new one. So you got to order them ahead of time, uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, and uh, the gap here, I don't know if you can see it properly, but there is a gap between the brush head and the actual uh, unit. Uh, that gets filled with toothpaste residue quite quickly. Uh, so that is definitely something that you gotta, you know, take the head off and clean it properly because that will get nasty if you don't watch out. And that's obviously the last thing you want when it comes to oral hygiene. In conclusion then, what do I make of this toothbrush? Well, I think it is a very appealing uh, package altogether. It's very well presented, it's very well made. Nothing has been cheaped out. Um, the price also is not cheap, to be honest. Uh, but then again, for a, a quality design product with USB charging, with the long battery life, with the 37,000 vibrations a minute and several options, I think it's a very complete package that is very appealing. Like if you're in the market for a new toothbrush and you don't like the rotary one, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, you can of course go with uh, you know your standard uh, Philips or Oral-B brands, uh, but I think that this is a very nice alternative. It uh, comes in nice colors, good packaging, uh, good accessories with it, uh, an all-round nice experience with this toothbrush. So, certainly recommendable if you're in the market for a new brush. That was all for this video. Signing off from my bathroom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely gives us, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. That always helps us out quite a lot. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers!